Among Guam's lush southern mountains lie hundreds of ridges that lead to valleys and rivers that flow into the Pacific Ocean. During this episode, we take a journey to the village of Marizo and learn about our island's watershed. I'm Joanna Delphin, and this is Dig It. Watershed. A watershed is the area or land that drains to a common waterway such as a stream, lake, estuary, wetland, aquifer, or even the ocean. We all live in a watershed, and watershed condition is important to everyone and everything that uses and needs water. Anna Simeon, the Coral Reef Watershed Coordinator for the Bureau of Statistics and Plans, took us on a tour of one of the island's more commonly known watersheds, the Manel Gaius Watershed in Marizo. This is not now. <laughs> People define watersheds by an area of land where all of the water that hits it runs off into the same place. We have quite a few, so, and most, the vast majority of them are down here in the south or not necessarily in the south, but in the southern half of Guam where we have all this volcanic soil. Because so, it collects. Yeah, okay. so it collects. So the north, there's only one watershed technically in the north and it's all that it's all limestone aquifer. There are two watersheds that are around Marizo area. All of the water that ends up raining here like it is raining right now actually ends up in Cocos Lagoon at some point. As rain falls, water moves down mountains and ends up in our rivers and streams. In most cases, as water travels, it collects various elements such as loose soil, chemicals, and trash, which pollute the water and harm our coral reefs. Sediment is problematic in many ways. Um, I mean, before humans came to Guam or any place, like there's always some amount of sediment that's ending up in the ocean on its own, right? And, uh, and everything that lives there is used to that small amount of sediment. But problem is people come along over a course of hundreds of years, we remove trees, we remove plants, um, and suddenly you don't have all the root systems that are able to hold the soil in place anymore. And so when you have sediment that ends up out into our rivers and onto the reefs, it can really change the ecology and really smother a lot of animals that live in those areas. The other thing is that when you have too much sediment that ends up in the ocean, our coral reefs, which are very highly dependent on light, um, corals are photosynthetic or organisms, uh, so they really need a whole bunch of light in order to survive and grow and, and, and create a great habitat for fish. And this is especially important in Marizo uh, because this is a very traditional, it's about as traditional fishing village as Guam has anymore, right? So people here are very dependent on the ocean for their livelihood. And so if we have a huge sedimentation problem, the reefs won't be healthy, which means fisheries won't be healthy, you can't find crab. There's a whole bunch of things that, that, that are impacted by that. The coral reef below the watershed suffers greatly due to wildland fires, feral animals, and off-roading vehicles. Because of this erosion, coral are more susceptible to disease, decreasing growth rates, and poor spawning. One thing that's really important is that when you're doing any kind of construction, make sure to have really adequate, more than adequate sediment um, barriers in place to keep those things, to keep that from running off whenever it rains. And we also really want to make sure that we work with hunters on the island to make sure that there's no burning that happens. It's That's, very important. It's very important and it's a really big problem we have down, down south. In 2015, the Guam Department of Agriculture planted thousands of acacia trees along the Manel Gaius watershed to reduce the amount of soil erosion into the ocean. Most of the lines are very well contoured because if you think about it, if you plow or if you cut off grass that goes straight down with the mountain, all the water is going to come rushing down that when that happens. Whereas if you were to have it um, kind of you know, horizontal along the, along the gradients, the water will come down, but it, won't, it doesn't have like a, a, a chute for it to go down. Though we cannot control the rainwater that flows into our rivers, we do have control of some of the harmful things that end up in our ocean. Anna, thank you so much for joining us today and um, teaching me 
more about mm. uh, watersheds and how it affects our coral. Uh, is there anything that you'd like to say to our viewers? Yeah, well, thank you for having me, first of all. And uh, to everybody watching, just remember that everything that ends up on the ground will eventually end up at the water at some point. So be careful what you let fall on the ground. Awesome. Thank you so much, Juan, for joining us for this episode. We'll see you next time. But in the meantime, feel free to let us know. Did you dig it? <laughs>